G'day, Steve Morgan here, Australian Bass Tournaments. We have just finished the Rapala Somerset round of the 13 Fishing Bass Pro Series. I've got my non boda winner here, Paul Mazzaroli. And Maz, you literally went from zero to hero. How many fish did you have on board come about late morning this morning? Oh, mate, it all happened. I'm st it's still sinking in at the moment. I'm still in a bit of shock. Um, it happened around 11 o'clock. Keegan and I decided to make a 10.30, 11 o'clock. We made a run up to Kirklee. We sounded along this flat. There was a lot of boats up there and we went to the end of it to give them all space and found a bait ball and started watching bass just diving into this bait ball and we said, we might get one here. So we set up, spot locked, and I think it was about the fourth cast. Keegan got a 1.2 and we were jumping, cheering. It was a good fish. And I saw what he caught on. He went to, a, he had an eco gear black blade on and I went and thought, I was throwing something different. I thought, no, nah, I'm going to put my old favourite on the Yamba Black Prawn Blade, and man, it worked. So the, you had two fish in your four and a half kilo limit. Yep. One of them was just over three kilos, which means your small one was one and a half kilos, but only half the size of the big one. Uh, is that your PB? Uh, it is my PB on, in a dam, yeah, it is. Not on the Manning. No, true. You do get longer down there, but uh, they don't build them like they do in this joint, mate, do they? Mate, this thing was a tank. Like, when it hit, hit the lure, it seriously... I was using a rack rod, a Daiwa rack rod, and it buckled. And this thing just screamed off. That's probably one of the best fights I've had in a bass ever in my life. It was insane. Yep. I loved it. Great. Grab that outfit because uh, you said it was a, a seriously uh, a seriously big fight. What did, what did you do it on? Tell us about the rod and reel. Okay, the rod is a, an old Daiwa Zillion rack rod um, off Manning River Marine who look after me. Um, and the blade is the old famous Yamba Prawn Blade, which they don't make anymore. I'm now down to two left. <laughs> and man that thing works and the reel is a freems 2500 running 10 pound braid and it had 10 pound uh daiwa x-link leader on it so you were you were sort of prepared for the big fish like you're not under gun there in the open water but uh tell us about the uh the tube they have left now you've caused your pb and won a tournament on that one does that get retired never it's a great rod that goes everywhere i mean the lure oh the lure no 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 that just keeps going till oh. i lose it and then it's gone. It's gone. I lost two at Boonduma. Down to two left now. Tell us uh, your technique and how you were fishing. You said you saw the fish on a bait ball. How do you get them from the bait ball onto your lure? So what we were doing is we'd look at the bait ball, where they were getting smashed. We would then cast way past the bait ball and slowly just hop it back. Then occasionally give it a double hop, a bit erratic, give it a little bit of a burn, let it settle. Then just real quick flicks of the rod. And that's all we did. And you, what, you pick up a flick and all of a sudden there's something on the end? When it when that big one hit it, I flicked it, flicked it up, and as it dropped, it just took off. It was like an express train hitting it. Awesome. I've never had a hit like that before. It was amazing. Still blown me away, that fish. Tell us about, uh, you've won, an, how many events have you won as a non-boater now? I know you won the grand final on the Richmond River uh, a couple of years ago. What else have you won from the back of the boat? The back of the boat, AOY. Yep. Uh, I've won, yeah, the Richmond... There was another one, I can't even think where that was. I won the grand final. And, yeah, that's it. Yeah, the grand final, Richmond River, when I won AOY, and this is the second one I won, I think. I've had a few thirds, a second. But, yeah, today's cool. I've never caught fish on this dam. I've always struggled. And now, now you're in the club. Man, I still can't <laughs> believe this. Like, going out this morning, uh, going last night, we went out for dinner. Brian Everingham, Doodle Squeezer, went and bought a donut cake because we all had donuts except for Nixie, who fished with you yesterday. Yeah and they all sat around having donut cake and i said i'm not eating that because that's just going to bring bad karma and it mate i'm glad i didn't eat it because today <laughs> i am i'm pinging off the charts at the moment because there was a saying is that to beat the donut you have to eat the donut yeah that's true that's true but it didn't work in your case it didn't work in my case <laughs> and the funny thing about it is that's the sec probably the second time i fished with keegan um that was when I won the Richmond River event. Um, so we've had a 100% success rate every time we fish him and I, and we just have the best day. I had Maddie Johnson on for day one. I lost a real big fish at the start, and that was my only bite um, that day. So, yeah, today was just... It's amazing. I still can't get it through my head at the moment. Well, there you go. You've qualified now for the grand final, which is up at uh, up at Boonduma in a more friendly time of year. I think in spring she should fish pretty so. good. <laughs> I hope it's going to be better. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, instant qualification now, mate. You might be able to pursue your boating career a little bit further. Oh, no, I like the non-boating side, mate. It's fun sitting <laughs> in the back of the boat. You don't have to stress out as much. Yeah. Um, I'd just like to thank a couple of people, especially Keegan Painter for today. It was amazing. We always have a ball. Always have a ball. Matty Johnson yesterday was a great day, and the people who look after me, Manning River Marine, 
and Dyer Australia. They always help me out with gear, so it's pretty cool. Well, we they are sponsors of ABT as well, so right. thumbs up from all of us here on the Banks of Somerset. And thanks to you and Nicole for a great event. It was fantastic. Yep. From the Banks of Somerset, the land where dreams are made. Happy go- days. <laughs>